Good morning. It is, I think it's 4086. 406. Um, it's probably the earliest that I've started recording. I got up five minutes before my alarm. That felt great. Uh, welcome. The best, sorry, that was yesterday's. I'm going to say it again though. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. That's a Chinese proverb. Don't regret what you haven't done. Just start doing it now. Okay, today's quote is from Babe Ruth. It's hard to beat a person who never gives up. And you can often go much further than you think. I have a little reading from Horse and His Boy. I've been going through Horse and His Boy. I've been going through the Chronicles of Narnia again. And uh, I, I'm on Prince Caspian? No, The Dawn Treader right now. Um, really great books, really short books. I never realized how short they were. Okay, but yeah, you can go further than you think. Here it is from Horse and His Boy. I feel, okay, here we go, I'm reading, I'm reading. I feel just like Bree that I can't go on. Uh, so there's two horses. I feel just like Bree, the male horse who used to be a stallion, or used to be like a war horse. He knows his, his stuff. And um, a Huin is a, like a hybrid, like a king's horse kind of thing. And they're both, they've been hiding in, like, they've been faking, faking it. They've been dumb horses. Uh, anyways, so now they're free, they're running away. I feel just like Bree, but I can't go on. But when horses have humans on their backs, aren't they often made to go on? Uh, when they're feeling like this, and then they find they can, ought we to be able to be even more now that we are free? It's all for Narnia. I think, Mom, said Bree, uh, very crushingly, that I know a little more about campaigns and forced marches, uh, and that a horse can stand than you do. To this, Huynh made no answer. In reality, she was quite right. And if Bree had had a Tarquina, uh, a king's warrior, a Tarquina on his back, that uh, at that moment, to make him go on, he would have found that he was good for several hours, hard going. But one of the worst results of being a slave and being forced to do things is that when there is no one to force you anymore, you find you have almost lost the power to force yourself. I feel like uh, this is especially true for creative people. And like you work for a job or something and you give everything to it Maybe like you're a slave to it. You just get paid. Um, and then you stop that because you're like, I want to go pursue something. And then all you know how to do is, is work for a boss and you start lazing out because you cannot discipline yourself. That's today. You can think about that. I will be thinking about that. And I'll see you tomorrow. Like, comment, subscribe and adios.